I didn't even know they were saying those things about me. Then I called home, and people would be like, oh my God, are you all right? Yeah, chill, I'm in Africa, baby, what's going on? <laughs> and then I got a call from a journalist that had been working on a story, and he was like, yeah, rumor mill's going on about you. Just want to clear a few things up, and I'm like, yeah, hey, what's going on? Okay, uh, do you smoke crack? I said, what? <laughs> do you smoke crack? Did you graduate from high school? Uh, I mean, it was all these crazy questions. And I thought about never coming back. I said, this, this place is crazy. I'm like, I'm, I'm that dude. I just thought about all the things that celebrities go through and what celebrities become in our culture. You know, if you Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston and your marriage is breaking up, that's an awful thing. But to see that speculation in people got to sting a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And, you, and then I realized, oh, my God, I'm one of those people. That's a small club, man. That's a weird place to be. Ain't really no going back. You can't, you can't get unfamous. You can get infamous. Right. But you can't get unfamous. Right. So I got scared. I'm not going to lie, y'all. I was scared to death. And I, I didn't touch the mic. This past year, I did the least stand-up I've done since I started. Cause I was freaked out, man, with the fame thing and, and being called uh, crazy and drug addict and all these things uh, scared me. You know, just being treated that way. Like, I'm not a person anymore. You say this shit about me in front of my children. And, you know, who, really, like, who the f do these people think they are? And they don't know what happened. You know, I, I, have, I have not spoken about what, what would make a person walk off the set of a successful show and go to Africa? But again, people don't understand it, so they call me crazy, and I don't like that. One of these magazines, Newsweek, it's a very credible magazine, and they're saying, um, you know, maybe I smoke crack, and it was all innuendo, and, and the magazine as credible as Newsweek, I was very surprised that, that this was happening. And then I got to make some real choices, man. Is that what I want for myself? Did I get too big? Because I like people. I like entertaining. And the higher up I go, for some reason, the less happy I am. You know, is it going to get to the point where I'm doing a strip tease on TRL or waving a gun on the street, <laughs> saying they're trying to kill me? No, I'm not going to let it get to that point. I'm going to go to Africa. I'm going to find a way to, I'm going to find a way to be myself, man. I got to, I got to, you know, I'm an artist, man. I'm, you know, I don't, I don't need a sneaker deal. I, I mean, I'd like one if they, but. <laughs> There's only six studios, man. There's only six agencies, man. This is a small controlled thing, and I don't like having to beg for the spotlight, man. It, the, you know, the machine is good for us, and we good for the machine, and it should be, should be fair, man. Martin had a stroke. He almost died. And then after that, I saw him, and I was like, oh, my God, Martin, are you okay? And he said, I got the best sleep I ever got in my life. <laughs> That's how tough he is. So let me ask you this. What is happening in Hollywood that a guy that tough will be on the street waving a gun screaming, they are trying to kill me. Yeah. What's going on? Why is Dave Chappelle going to Africa? Why does Mariah Carey make a $100 million deal and take her clothes off on TRL? It, a weak person cannot get to sit here and talk to you. There ain't no weak people talking to you. So what is happening in Hollywood? Nobody knows. The worst thing to call somebody is crazy, is dismissive. I don't understand this person, so they're crazy. That's bullshit. These people are not crazy. They're strong people. Maybe the environment is a little sick.